Some Solvang businesses say fewer Chinese tourists have been visiting the popular Danish town this winter. They blame the coronavirus for making travel difficult for Chinese nationals. KSBY's Melissa Newman is live in Solvang with the impacts businesses are seeing there. Karina, Chinese tourists account for a large amount of business for places like the Lansby during the week. But with the coronavirus and China's economy, it's leading some to wonder if this slowdown will be the new normal. On a typical weekday, general manager of the Lansby, Barry Prescott, says several of their 51 rooms are full with visitors from China. We did approximately anywhere from 15 to 25 rooms midweek. Uh, with the China visitor. It was growing. But that has recently changed. That's pretty much gone. It's 100% gone, actually. So it's slower midweek. Fortunately, we do pick up uh, on weekends more from the L.A. area, Orange County. Some have started to speculate if the decline could be contributed to the coronavirus, making it more difficult for Chinese nationals to travel as airlines continue to scale back or cancel flights in what some say is already a slow winter tourism season. Yes, of course, it's a worry any time uh, this year. Uh, it was the virus and last year, you know, it was the fires and the year before the mudslides. So it's, it's, it seems to be always something going on in the, the winter months when we are the slowest. Some solving businesses are now questioning if this new decline could become a part of a bigger trend of fewer Chinese tourists visiting the area in general. We saw a drop um, actually about two years ago, but now with the coronavirus, it's definitely dropped even more. And uh, we've seen just a few. But, um, I mean, compared to normally, it's probably 5% of what we normally see. A tourism marketing contractor for the city of Solvang tells KSBY continuing to rely on these visitors could be troublesome, saying in a statement, assuming the tourists are in fact coming from Asia, it's likely that even without the nearly 90% drop in air traffic being reported elsewhere, that a reliance on tourism from this region is dangerous and facing a slowdown. A marketing contractor for the city says so far most businesses have not yet submitted their numbers in sales for January and February, so it's still too soon to know if sales are up or down compared to this time last year. Reporting live in Solvang, Melissa Newman, KSBY News. Melissa, thank you. And later this month on February 28th, city leaders will host their State of the City event, possibly giving more insight on some of the sales trends they're seeing.